Hello everyone, Fuzzfinger here with more Final Fantasy XII today and the plan is we're going to be taking on a couple of optional hunts so please do stick around if you enjoy watching don't forget to hit the like button let's get started What I've done then at the end of the last episode and just before this one is use the teleport crystal from the village to Rabanasta and then made my way back up to the northeastern area of the Sand Sea pub so that we can go ahead and see what new hunts may be available to us. And we've got the White Moose, the Ringworm and the Marilith so we're going to go ahead and select all of these. The White Moose is probably going to be the hardest because it's very very resistant to physical attacks. But there's something we can use in order to uh, take that guy out quite quickly, and it's called Belias. Okay, thank you. So we'll go ahead and select the Ringworm. A Lesser Dragon. Sounds frightful. And that's in the Low Town area. And then finally the Marilith. Petitioner I meant in the low town area. It looks like we're quite close, doesn't it? So let's just see which person in this room the final hunt was for there. And it was the giant snake thing, wasn't it? That one. It's Tavern Master. Okay. Yes, go for it. So we need to go to the Zertinan Caverns in order to complete this hunt. But let's go and speak to the petitioners for the other hunts uh, before we do anything else at this point. So then we can just go around and slaughter them all. At least that's a theory. Hopefully we won't get slaughtered doing so. Make sure by the way you just stock up on any magics and techniques and gambits that you might not have at this point that are available for purchase in Rabanasti. You should be able to sell a load of the loot we've been collecting in order to make up for the gill that you're going to need to do that. So let's have a look at some of these other hunts that we have now picked up. We've got this one. Uh, the one we've just looked at. And where's the other one? Ah, here it is. So this is the one where we need to head into Low Town for. So we'll go there next, I think, in order to proceed with this particular petitioner. <sighs> Gonna have to open the menu again. I forgot the one that we need to speak to, the actual NPC, if you like. Clamfimer hunts. And it's Balsack. Just check exactly where they are. The western side at the bottom of the two uh, things that come out. So it's Balsack we're looking for, and he's over here. At least the game does actually pinpoint you in the right location for all of these hunts that we're doing. So you don't really have too much trouble finding it. It does give you everything you need to know to do all this. And this is Balzac, is it? So our next hunt, the ringworm, is now ready to take on as well. And if we just see briefly where that's going to be located. Okay, looks like it's in a nice unexplored area. 
but if we just teleport to the Ogre Yenza Sansi, then heading east should take us to where we need to go. Here they are, the person we want to speak to is this Moogle here for this final hunt. And this is going to take us into the waterway area of the city. So we've got three hunts to take on at this point. And we're going to make our way over to the teleport crystal now. So we're going to take on the second hunt first. That's the one that we have uh, found in the unexplored area. That we picked up from Lowtown. I'm just going to check exactly the place we need to go to again. Make sure I get this right. I believe it's this guy here. Yes, we need to go to the Ogre Yenza Sansi. Hopefully we'll find it quite quickly. Right then, so before we actually go to the enemy itself, I'm just going to check our gambits uh, for a moment. And we're just going to go ahead and select foe. Protect and dispel. So we're going to find that particularly helpful in this upcoming encounter. Since this guy has both protect and shell. So not shell, haste, protect and haste. And as a matter of fact, the uh, ability itself, uh, dispel is going to get rid of both of those for us. Oops, we do actually need to teleport to the Damascus Wester Sand, uh, not to the Sand Sea area. So I've just teleported to the correct location now. And there's a bit of a storm going on by the looks of things, isn't there? There's quite a few tough enemies around this location as well, so... Just be prepared to face off against some of the tough stuff. But here's the actual hunt itself. It looks a little bit like Tiamat, actually, who we haven't yet encountered. And we've got rid of his uh, nasty abilities there. Let's see if there's anything nice to steal from him. There may be, there may not be. We'll have to keep at it. Couldn't steal, couldn't steal. Yeah, it's going to be annoying. This guy's got a lot of health, hasn't he? But once we've stole the Tuft of Phoenix down, how exciting we should be able to really crack on with uh, taking this guy out. Let's get some Asunas going on here. You can summon an Esper as well if you're struggling to take him out with your normal party. And go for some quickenings as well if need be. I can't actually form great quickening ch chains at the moment due to the uh, lack of actual quickenings themselves. Got immobilised again, but I'm still hitting him, so I'm not going to worry about moving. Can't see his health bar. Ooh. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Time for a high potion, I think. Gone past it. So 
So yeah, these guys, these hunts now are starting to get a little bit on the tricky side of things. One thing we can actually cast on it as well, which might help us out, is slow. Uh, who's got slow? It might be Bash. Yeah, that's going to hopefully be beneficial to us now as we go through the rest of this fight, just to reduce some of the damage that we're taking, especially Varn. Yeah, just keep us nicely healed. And let's get Ash on some Asuna duty here for a moment. One of the good things, by the way, about using Belias, and I might just do so at this point, is the fact that he actually... Uh, is healed by the monster's breath attack. Let's say goodnight to Varn. No, he's being targeted. How can he be targeted? Oh, right, by the party member. Okay. Can we get him out yet? Nope. Nope, still can't do anything with him. Well, this guy's going down slowly but surely. So I'm not going to concern myself too much with it. But yeah, Belias is a good option in this encounter. Bash is enjoying his ranged attacks now. He doesn't look great with the crossbow, I'll admit, but it does the job. Varn's infusibility isn't always wonderful when he's got low MP, since it actually does damage to him rather than heal him. I need to have a look at some of those gambits, I think. Right, we need to get uh, Ash healed from this sap. Right, we must be able to get Varn out of here now anyway and bring someone else in for a moment. He's going down, he's going down. We've done it. The ringworm has been vanquished indeed. And with that done, I'm going to head back over into the Lowtown area now. We can speak to the guy and tell him that his enemy has been defeated. And we can also head into the waterway to take on the next mark. Okay, here we are back in Lowtown. So first of all, we are going to just head to the petitioner for the hunt we've just destroyed. And it was a challenging one, that wasn't it? A nice one to start us off with. Tell Balsack here that we're done. Get our reward. A moon ring and an ice brand. Very nice. Okay. And now we're going to head over to the dungeon. Where the next mark awaits. And it's the white moose. Okay, it turns out the other two hunts are just a little bit too powerful for our party at the moment. So what I've done instead is we're going to finish off a couple of the other hunts that we picked up earlier on in the story. Or earlier on in the walkthrough. And we can do so now because the destination we need to head to is the Giza Plains. But we can only do so in the dry season which it currently is in. So when we're in the dry season, the NPCs, a lot of the NPCs are back. That one wants us to actually come in the rain. But there's definitely stuff we need to do here in the dry. 
including somebody we need to speak to from the last hunt. Sorry about that, my mic was a little bit further away than uh, normal, so I just brought it back a bit close so you can hear me better again. And we get two remedies which we were expecting, I did mention that in the last episode. And so what we're going to do here is just bring up the party menu. And then check the hunts that I know we can do in the dry season because we've been waiting patiently for them. Well, that's the rains. That's the gill snapper thingy, I think, isn't it? Yep. Ah, here we go. The petitioner is Dania. Right, so we're in the pen section. In there. So before we go into that, I'm just going to chat to some of these others. Okay. So let's head on inside here now and speak to Dania. And we'll go ahead and accept this hunt. It's been in our log for quite a while now, so it'd be nice to get it done. Okay, so let's just head once again into the clam primer in order to see where this latest hunt is going to be located. Okay, well that's helpful, of course. Right, so I think I know where it's located now. Um, we need to head over into the area to the east. We're looking for the north bank. Okay, so this is where we need to be. But it won't appear while there's other enemies around, unfortunately. So we need to take care of the other fiends before we go ahead and find it. So similar to what we did with one of the other hunts in uh, the last episode, we need to just kill everything and then re-enter the area in order to actually locate it. And it looks like we're in action now. You do have to kill the neutral mobs as well, unfortunately. If you're doing this at a lower level, you'll want to also uh, destroy the protect that the hunt mark has on itself. So by all means, go ahead and dispel that. But that's the cluckatrice for you. So we're just going to head back at this point and hand that mark in, or that hunt in. It's nice to get that one completed, it's been in our quest log for a while, but because the planes have been rainy the whole time, we've not been able to do it until this point. And we get another reward. With some of the cool stuff to add to the collection. Okay, so there's a few hunts left at this point that we can't do now for whatever reason, either because we need to come back here when it's rainy once more, or the other couple of hunts are just too challenging for our particular level at this point in time. So we'll do those in a future episode. But I'm going to finish things off here today, and then we'll pick up next time, probably with the story again for a little bit, and see how we get on with that. So thanks for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, don't forget to hit the like button. And come back soon. And we'll continue on with more Final Fantasy XII. Cheers all. Bye.